learn how to download Bootstrap and insert it into our project. So to get started, go ahead and open up your web browser. And then type in Bootstrap 4. Okay. And the top link here, you'll see the V4 Alpha Get Bootstrap. Go ahead and click on that. And then right smack dab in the middle here, you're going to see this Download Bootstrap button. Go ahead and click that. And there is a couple of ways and a couple of uh, different types of downloads for Bootstrap. So what we're going to be working with is the basic version of Bootstrap. And this is going to include our CSS and our JavaScript. All right, It's going to give us a lot of defaults here. And then if you want to take a deeper dive into Bootstrap uh, and really integrate it with your, uh, at your project's asset pipeline, you can go ahead and download the entire thing, which includes all sorts of source files, the SAS files, and uh, deeper JavaScript files. And then there is also the Bootstrap CDN. And what this is doing, it's a content delivery network. And it's really just grabbing Bootstrap, the basic version of it that has the CSS and the JavaScript in it. And it's just grabbing it from Bootstrap's website uh, over the network and injecting it into your project. Um, and for our example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and uh, download the basic ver version of Bootstrap directly into our project. So go ahead and at this top one right here, Bootstrap CSS and JS, go ahead and click the download button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to throw it on my uh, desktop and go I'm going to call this starter template. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and create that and then save the file. And it's finished downloading. I'm going to click on the zip file, go ahead and unzip it. And I'm going to delete the zip file and keep the folder that we've created. Awesome. So now let's open up our text editor. And I'm using brackets. You can use your favorite. And let's go ahead and uh, open up the project we just created. So I threw it on my desktop, and it's the starter template right here. All right, so we've downloaded it, and we've put it into our project. And you can see that we've started out with these uh, basic components uh, files here with our CSS and our JavaScript. And that's it. That was pretty simple, right? Let's move on.